Hey YouTubers, Facebookers and Instagrammers, we're back here today for vlog episode number five of Puppies Training. And um, what we're looking to do today is progress our basic retrieval on a little bit, um, where we're just going to steady the dog up uh, so that the dog can eventually just sit and hold itself in a nice sit position. But regardless, we're going to start off with a nice fun retrieve, just straight out and back, just holding onto the pup, no restrictions, nothing. Spending a little bit of time here at the end, letting the dog know that we're happy. Nice bit of interaction there, you'll see. Gonna gently twist the dog round and gently push him into a sit position prior to sending him. So you'll see holding in a sit position and then releasing onto that retrieve with the right hand. Pat back up, bit of soft, calm, controlled praise. Then we're gonna take the retrieve again. Once again, we're going to fling that retrieve out, holding this time by my left side, still in that sat position, just releasing. The dog must be able to see the retrieve when you throw it. That's really, really important at this stage. Here we go again. We're going to take the retrieve once again. So this time we're going to stand up using the lead. The dog goes to move, but I just gently pull him back into the sat position. There we go, a little action shot there for you guys. Lots of encouragement back in. All the time keeping that delivery fun. A little bit more pressure now, making the dog sit and wait before we go. Right guys, so we've worked up to what I would call a steady retrieve using the training line that you've seen. I'm now gonna put the retrieve down, walk him away, walk him back sit him up just in front of the retrieve and then send him for it. It's really important though that the dog can see the retrieve because you're disconnecting from it by walking away. When you come back, the visual aid of the retrieve is really important. This isn't about hunting for a retrieve. This is just about understanding a command. So we'll give it a go. Here we go. Sit. We're gonna drop right, it so we set the pup up. Drop the retrieve, turn into him, nice fast walk, encourage him to keep up. Obviously, he might want to go back for that. And then gently turn around. And use the lead just to gently make him sit. And as soon as he looks at me, I release him onto the retrieve. That's really important at this point. As soon as he looks at me, I release him onto the retrieve. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so here we go. Once again, we're gonna walk nice and fast, engage the pup. We're gonna make him sit using the lead. Boom, eye contact, drop the retrieve, tug turn into the dog. Nice fast walk, encourage the dog once again to keep up with us. Gently walk forwards, eye contact. He looked away there. I waited until he looked at me again before then releasing him back onto that retrieve. Right guys, so let's do that again. We're going to turn around, sit him up, eye contact, wait for him to look at us, release him onto the retrieve. Lots of encouragement, back he comes. Again, at this stage, I'm not worried about a, a smart delivery. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. Right, so I'm really pleased how that went. I'm now gonna do some retrieves into the wind. It's a little lively this morning, which is good. We're gonna do some retrieves into the wind where I'm gonna release him. It's nice broken ground, wind's coming this way. I'm gonna start off with the big retrieve. And if he does well with that, then I'll go on to uh, a smaller one, which will make it a little bit harder. Right, so here we go again. I'm going to just lob that retrieve as far as I can into the wind, releasing him straight away. Now, this pup seems to just get on with it. I don't like to get too involved at this stage. I'm not going to worry about putting my hump whistle in quite yet. Lots of encouragement. Back he comes again. Well, he did that pretty well. I'm going to hold on to him for a little bit longer this time. So it's 
got to mark it, then hunt for it. Good lad, good lad, good lad. Good boy, good boy. Right, so we'll do that again. And this time we'll wait even longer. So you can hear me inserting a bit of a funny noise there and that will actually get replaced by my hunt whistle a little bit later on. One more time, always to the same spot. I think that was an easy one, it was standing up a bit there. So you'll see over the coming weeks that I'll just push that retrieve on a little bit further and a little bit further as the dog is uh, able to cope with the distance and is marking better and better. Right guys, so I'm going to try the tennis ball now. It's a bit smaller, so it'll be a little bit more difficult. Here we go. So you see there, he has it in his mouth and he just monkeys me about for a moment until I get on him. Now we had to hunt for that for a little bit there, but he didn't give up. If I thought he was gonna give up, I would have stood up and gently walked towards the retrieve, not interacting with him just to keep him in the air until he found it. Right, gonna do another one. Make him wait a little bit longer this time, guys. So on this retrieve, he starts to take a little bit of a while. You can't see it in the shot, but he is trying to find it. I decide to do nothing and just let him get on with it. I could have made some noise of encouragement, but that actually could have pulled him away from the retrieve. So I just chose to just let him get on. Right guys, so I'm going to finish off with a really fun retrieve, which is where I'm not going to hold him. I'm just going to tease him and then let him run in as far as he can. Again, always into the wind at this stage. So you're going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to tease him. So this drill I always do at the end of the session early on, even if I'm doing quite steady work in the first part, it just keeps things fun and gets the dog really marking well. Good boy. Good boy. This keeps things fun, guys. We did quite a formal bit at the beginning, the steadiness using the lead. And I want to finish off making it fun where there's not too much formality. I just want him to be able to mark the retrieve, hopefully pick it like he's just done now, and then hopefully come back. Good boy, good boy. One more. So everything in these uh, vlog episodes is progressive. So I only push the distance on in things or the complication as the dog progresses through the drills. Mixing formal training such as the steady retrieves at this stage with some fun at the end really does keep your dog progressing, keeps your dog happy, stops you putting too much pressure on them and will allow you to work on lots of different elements all at the same time. Right guys, so I'm really pleased with that. We've done some formal retrieving at the beginning. We've done some marking and hunting for the retrieve, which is something slightly different. And then we finished with some fun stuff where I've just let him run in. When the energy level's getting low towards the end, if you're too formal, it can knock out of them. So finishing with an exercise like that can just make it fun. But obviously I don't do each of those stages unless the stage before goes well, so as not to set yourself up for problems. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you maybe in a fortnight or so when I think we'll do a bit more hunting. <clears throat>
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be back in a couple of weeks for another vlog episode. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. I would really appreciate that as I put an awful lot of effort into these videos. I hope they're informative and helpful. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Also, if you want any help with online training, just go through to my Facebook page, DM me on there, and I'll do my best to help you.